Now, one, I will say, the kind of the last um, category of torts, probably, I would imagine, of intentional torts is the most litigated in South Carolina. And that would be torts against your dignity. Okay. Now that includes lots of different things like invasion of privacy, mm -hmm. things like that. But the yeah, big one's defamation. De uh, yeah, de defamation. And inv invasion of privacy now is yeah. if you can f if you can figure out mm -hmm. who you know who wronged you yeah. and like the cyber hacking age. Yeah, um, like I know drones. I'm not Yeah. I'm not looking at you, Trent. Uh, but uh, I know when drones first came about, I think there were some lawsuits about invasion of privacy from that and yeah. and everything, you know. But I think that's why all the registration and FAA rules now, you know, are right. existed. Talking about the drone thing too, you know, we talked. We just mentioned the fact that a lot of those regulations from the FAA probably came about from invasion of privacy and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you remember too. A lot of times they would fall out of the sky. So just, you know, we're sitting here, this is like a, a tort exam. We're sitting here thinking about this, but you know, if a drone flies over your house, videotapes, you know, you through your window, that's an invasion of privacy possibly, um, <clears throat> depending on your state, and, right. you know, and different things like that. But, um, but then if it falls on your house and let's say it falls through the roof of your shed <laughs> and onto your four wheeler that has not been stolen yet. You know that could be that's going to be trespass to land, trespass yeah. to chattels. Again, you know, so you know that's these, just an interesting thing that I just yeah, thought about. You know, yeah. that, that's like a tort exam that we probably would have done in law school of of those crazy right. Things. Just find, find the tort situation that would mm -hmm. never in a billion years happen. Yes, but it has fifteen but, yeah. different torts. In it. Right, right. But anyway, so yeah, I do think that invasion of privacy does exist. You know, and it's, yeah. it's but I think defamation. I know in my practice, I've had people talk to me about defamation probably more than. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's else. defamation. Yeah, especially in the age of, of social media and, yeah. and you know people who are self employed, a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you know just de just depending on the circumstances, it, it's more it's more common now than yeah. it used to be in the like cyber age where a lot of people a lot of their life is lived through screens. So if if their reputation is is harmed. From a false statement through one of these networks, depending on if the elements, I mean, you know. Well, think about it. You know, in South Carolina, I'm not, I don't remember the elements completely, but, you know, you're going to have to have a communication of the, of the allegation. Okay? But yeah, false. The, the, the false statement that is communicated to people. Yeah. Um, it's got to be false. It's got to cause a down, you know. A, people a, who aren't privileged to hear it, like yeah. publication. Yeah. Um, so think about publication. And, special, and, and then there's special harm, which, I mean, yeah. you know, it's, that's. Something. I mean, we'll that's talk where, about that some yeah, other time. No, that's if, that's where they fail a lot of times. Like you said, unless you are self-employed, it's going to cause economic damage. Proving the damages again is difficult. Yeah, that's the hard proving part the damage to sure. reputation is difficult. But uh, and sometimes even proving something, proving something's demonstrably false because it, it, it. Yeah, I mean, it, it has to be false. Yeah, what is said about you? Exactly. You know, but it does kind happen. of common example is you know, someone starts going around say, telling people that you have. HIV or, or something like that, and then it, a, a prospective employer catches wind, and you either don't get a job or you get fired. It's something like that. I mean, you know, yeah. um, but they're not they're not as hard as some other claims, but they're not they they can be tricky, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, but like you were saying, Facebook or social media has really changed it. Because if you think about, you know, let's go back to just the history of America here. How do you communicate to the public? Okay. Look, we can go all the way back to like a town crier. <laughs> so unless you went and told the town crier to pigeons, to, you know, pigeons, I don't know, <laughs> carrier pigeons, um, you know, tell the town crier that, you know, Charlie is, is, is untrustworthy and will steal your money. Um, so you know, other than that, you know, where people said it, you know, I don't think, you know, 50, 60 years ago, people were taking out ads in the newspaper just to call out their friend, but people may do that all day long oh, yeah. on social media now. Um, and that's what people do have to worry about is because if you do make a false statement, that is communicating it to the public. Because even if you only have 200 friends or something, that's the public that are not privy to that information. Right. And so, you know, that that's a, that's a critical one. And like you said, self-employed people, business people, those are the ones that really have a decent claim, especially if the allegation has to do. And like online reviews tread a very fine line. Because, you know, we see it in our practice, you know, and, you know, anything we do now, we look at online reviews. Yeah, like yeah. How many times have yeah. you looked at a Yelp review for a restaurant and someone makes it sound like you are walking into a hellhole of yeah, a restaurant? all the time. And all of that may be false. Yeah. Or at the very least, misconstrued. 
Yeah. And, and so, it, but, I mean, if someone know, drags you on yeah. a better business bureau is, you know, again, like it has to be demonstrably false. Yeah. Um, but, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I mean, just, just the way that, that people communicate now, yeah. just in general, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's entered into a weird new landscape because, yes. you know, the, these, these third party platforms aren't, aren't publishers. But anyways, that's a whole nother can of worms.